Good morning, everybody. So we're still in Hastings at my mum's place. Uh, failed to leave yesterday because honestly, I feel really rubbish. <laughs> I've got some kind of cold. You see, that's the problem, right? We've got three children in our household and my partner's kids go to their father's like 50% of the time. So they're exposed to another like five children in that household. So in total, there's an exposure to basically every single germ in the whole of Southern England. And um, that means we get them all. So yeah, uh, not, not feeling 100% at the moment. Anyway, we are gonna be going back in a little bit of time. I'm just trying to sort out a bit of admin uh, and um, yeah, and V's out in the town. Excellent, so, um, We'll pick this up in a minute. I feel like the weather. Anyway, we're just handing out a few more business cards and then we're heading off. This sausage roll and that bakery over there is amazing. And the coffee's not bad either. So today I want to talk about Elon Musk because some people believe that he's a near omnipotent deity type figure and some people think he's a, a complete maniac who gets everything wrong. And as is usual with these things, the truth is halfway between the two. Time to go get the car and load it and go. So, Elon Musk, he's basically human, believe it or not. And he is just as fallible as any other human. Although, to be honest, I suspect at least to some extent, the reason why he tends to present things that actually no human being could actually know as fact is because it helps to keep the investment dollars flowing. I think he's, he's also a good businessman. He's principally an engineer, but he does understand what it takes to keep a business going. So obviously he does those things. Take full self-driving cars, which is the clearest and most obvious example. You see, they're not there yet. They probably won't be next year or the year after. In fact, they may never get there. And it's impossible to know how long it will or won't take to get there because nobody's ever done it before. See, that's where Elon Musk runs up against the sort of standard limitations of the human experience, which is that when we're talking about something that has never been done before, he's just as fallible as anyone else. How, how does he know? Nobody has ever created an intelligence as powerful as a human being's intelligence. Not even close. We've created sort of narrow applications which sort of generate intelligence like responses but the truth of the matter is even those are eminently fallible i mean i remember an example of a sort of a very simple ai image recognition system whereby you show it a picture of a cat and it identifies that as a cat okay pretty simple right and it was, you know, it was pretty good. It got 99% of the cats correctly identified as cats. However, you could show it a jumble of basically seemingly random pixels. They weren't random, they were specifically chosen. But when it saw that random jumble, that a human being would say, that's noise, that's nothing. And yet the AI is like, oh, that's 99% sure that's a cat. Why? because it, it's not intelligent. You know, we don't even know what intelligence is. So how you can claim that we're like a year away from having full self-driving cars, it's kind of laughable. And he's been saying we're a year away from full self-driving Teslas in particular. He's been saying that for like, is it eight years now? A long time. So it's quite clear. That is outside the limits of what he can and can't predict. At the other end of the spectrum, you've got things like Starship. Now, nobody's ever made a fully reusable rocket before. So you could say, well, how does he know? But we've made rockets before. It's not using some new, poorly understood or not understood at all physics that we have to invent or create. No, it's using well understood physical principles and engineering and yeah there'll be some issues that need ironing out and that might take longer than people think but 
it's a kind of they know where the destination is the problem with something like ai or full self-driving cars is nobody actually knows where that destination is because we don't know we don't even really know what intelligence is the measures we have to quantify somebody's intelligence the iq test that's actually just testing the effect of intelligence you know it's application it's not actually testing intelligence intelligence is something which is very poorly understood and doesn't really have a clear definition and so consequently you really are looking at the limits of what even an incredibly bright person like Elon Musk can possibly know the answer to and what do I think? I think eventually we'll get full self-driving cars more or less but I think it'll be a little bit like the picture of the cat which is actually just noise you'll be driving along and everything will seem fine and then for no reason that anyone will ever know the car will suddenly dive off into the verge and kill all the occupants and provided that happens more regularly than once every hundred thousand years people are going to struggle to accept full self-driving even if it does a much better job on average than a human being would because it will do because human beings are also well known for doing a very poor job at driving but they tend to do a poor job at driving at points when you'd expect people to do a poor job of it whereas AI kind of can be quite hard to predict what it will do because of the way it's built anyway that's that's what I think I mean hopefully we'll get it to the point where it's good enough and we can start using it because I right now would love to just go to sleep and let the car drive me home that would be amazing unfortunately I've got four hours of driving ahead of me so oh. hello baby I've missed you oh, wow really does get very low on the air suspension when it's not in use very low oh well and we're back charging again we're doing this stop and then hopefully just going straight home so i've got pay for parking i think yeah i'm pretty sure the parking is free here if you're supercharging so that's a waste of four quid but hey ho i am really struggling and we've got 137 miles left to go and i'm losing the light and gopros are awful in low light and i'm this is a gopro so i'm going to say goodbye now and um hopefully i'll be feeling a bit more perky tomorrow i hope you've enjoyed today's video if you have remember to leave a like and share it and subscribe if you haven't already you can follow me on instagram and x if you like the links are in the description i want to say a massive thank you to my patreon supporters because you guys are awesome and i will see you all in the next episode of my vlog bye this is a job that autopilot can do perfectly just keep up with the car in front and stay in your lane low speed low risk unfortunately i don't have autopilot hello Who's Albie, hello good boy good boy <laughs> come on in you come hello hello fluffy hello good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning.